Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be going over the round body figure shape and how to dress for that body figure. If you haven't already seen some of my other videos, I have been talking about how to dress each of the body figures. I have already done the triangular body figure, the inverted triangular body figure, and the rectangle body figure. So if you would like to go and watch those, they will be linked down in the description below. The round body figure is seen as having balanced hips and shoulders with a similar waist or sometimes a larger waist. This body figure tends to carry their weight in the middle part of their body, around their stomach and sometimes around their bottom half and thighs as well. When we are styling the round body figure, we want to make sure that we are creating more of an hourglass or rectangular body figure for them. This can be done by enhancing the curves of the body and by making sure that we aren't swamping the body figure. With this body figure, we're going to start by talking about underwear. For this figure, it can be really great to have supportive underwear. So for this body figure, we want to make sure the underwear isn't creating any unwanted lines by digging in to your skin, but we want to make sure that it is comfortable for you and it is holding things more secure. Great options can be supporting underwear or an all-in-one bodysuit. For us for this body figure, we also want to make sure that we are having thick strapped bras as this body figure tends to have larger breasts. So the thicker the straps for this body figure, the more support they're going to have. Having the right underwear and bras can be really important when you're styling because this allows the clothing that you put on top to be flattering and look great on you. When we look at pants for this body figure, anything such as slight flares or boot cut jeans can be great options. We want the jeans and pants to be more mid-rise and preferably with a thicker waistband. We want to make sure that the pants that we are choosing fit nicely on the body and aren't too tight because this will create unwanted bulges. The jeans and pants always look best being in a darker colour and it looks best to leave out any front details such as front pockets on these jeans but back pockets are okay as long as they are in line. For pants it also looks best to have looser and flowier fabrics and when we are choosing pants and jeans we should make sure that they the hemline fits just above the heel. When we are choosing skirts and dresses we want to make sure that they cut close to the body but that they are materials that drape and skim the body. The hemlines should also finish at the smallest part of the leg so that could be just above the knee or just below the knee. Great skirt options can be pencil, a-line and straight skirts and some great dress options can be empire line, a-line and wrap dresses. It can also be a great idea to have more feminine and floaty dresses and for the dresses to incorporate vertical lines. Any tops such as v-necks, squared necklines, open necklines and slightly curved necklines can be great options for tops for this body figure. When we also looking at shirts for this body figure, it can be a great idea to make sure that you are keeping half of the top buttons undone whilst closing up the other half of the buttons. Sleeves for this body figure should be loose but fitted. It is a great option to have more three-quarter length sleeves and make sure that they aren't stopping at the wrist. Suits can be a great option for this body figure as they create one shape for the body figure. This can be great for elongating. When we are talking about coats and jackets, anything that is three-quarter length or anything such as lightweight trench coats can be a great option. Hemlines of coats and jackets always look best when they stop just before or just after the widest point of the body. And depending on who you are and what you like, this can be different for each individual person. We wanna make sure that the jackets, wherever they are stopping, they aren't stomping the body figure and they are creating nice proportion to your body. Accessories for this body figure can be bags that are of more of a medium scale but you want to make sure that these bags aren't too boxy and are more rounded and flowy. Scarves that are draped long across the body can also be a great option 
you want to make sure that you aren't wearing any scarves or anything that is choking up across your neck as this can um, proportion the body figure. When we are looking at shoes for this body, body figure, we want to make sure that the shoes are comfortable but are also widening out the legs a little bit. So these can be shoes such as kitten heels, long fabric boots, fitted knee length boots, platform shoes or stacked wedges. The best fabrics for this body figure are any fabrics that drape and skim the body figure and aren't too heavy. Examples of fabrics can be knits and cottons. When we are talking about patterns for this body figure, any pattern that is more simple and basic can look great for this body figure. We also want to make sure that the patterns have even spacing between each one and that they also have a low colour contrast. Colours should be kept to a minimal and you should avoid trying to split the body figure into two by using two contrasting colours on top of each other and keep any bright bold colours to accessories that you wear on the upper half of your body. Things to avoid with this body figure would be any patterns such as animal prints, super florally prints or horizontal stripes. Also any sleeves such as puff sleeves, kimono sleeves and bat wing sleeves don't look as great on this body figure. You should also try to avoid layering any clothing as this can try and swamp the figure more. Anything such as crop trousers, heavy knits or high neck tops don't look as great on this body figure. Also anything too tight and anything with excess fabric. A great example of a celebrity with this body figure would be Melissa McCarthy. If you look at her style, she tends to wear a lot more flowy clothing. Any of her skirts and dresses also tend to finish just below the knee and any of her tops seem to finish just above or just below the wrist as well. She also rarely wears any sleeves that tend to be puff sleeves or bat wing sleeves. Thank you so much for watching today's video, I hope you liked it, if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe, if you would like to see the other body figure videos it will be linked down in the description below and next week I will be posting about the hourglass body figure. Thank you so much for watching, see you next week, bye!